time trial in the Tour de France. Bernardino has announced he will try to beat teammate Le Mans here and now. Because he's attacked me from the beginning of the Tour de France, he's never helped me once, and I, I don't feel confident at all uh, with him, that's all. Greg LeMond's friend and ally now exists for the American as the enemy. He knows hunched frame on the time trial platform. Is this truly LeMond's nemesis? You know, you never know what can happen. I can crash and flat, so I, I feel really strong. I don't think there should be any problem. In his world of meditation and isolation, the Badger is perched to lay waste to Le Mans and the Tour de France. There are but two men left to ride the time trial. As the yellow jersey, the American will ride last. Eno precedes him on the course. If Eno has any hope of beating Le Mans, he must do it here in his speciality. After all, Eno has won 20 of these special time trials since he first rode the Tour in 1978. Three minutes later, Greg Le Mans enters the start house, and for the first time in his life, he's last to begin, because he leads the Tour de France. Eno has the chance to give his answer. Can he beat Le Mans by enough time to bring victory in Paris, or will his tour end here? One way or another, the individual time trial will tell us the truth. Le Mans knows too, he sits on the brink of stardom or disaster. Eno wants so much to win, he pushes himself to gain precious time, and on a difficult narrow bend, he almost crashes. But in any case, the delay, if not the crowd, will cost him a couple of valuable seconds. Last year, Le Mans beat Eno by just five seconds in the Tour's final time trial. He knows he can do it, and above all, he wants to prove, especially to the French, he's a worthy wearer of the Golden Fleece. Eno fights like a wounded animal, his pride is hurt, and in his own garden, he wants desperately to show he's the best. Pedaling at 35 miles an hour, Le Mans seems to be having trouble getting his rhythm. He adjusts his shoe position. By using all of the road, Eno is as smooth as ever, spurred on by his threats to beat Le Mans by perhaps a minute. Lamont has crashed on a tight turn and is in a panic to get back on his bike. An aide from the team car runs to give him a legal push. Did you hear about the crash? Yeah, did you hear anything else about it? Crash. Is there a new, uh, is there a new, uh, split? What crash? Yeah, but that's why you Greg's wife and mother were watching live French TV, which at the time was not covering Greg. Word that someone had crashed came over a walkie-talkie. What? Crash. Le Mans was all right, but not everyone knew it. Can't be, Greg. Just can't be. Is there a crash with Greg? No! No! Can't! No! But he's all right. He's all right. What happened? Oh, shh. What happened? What do you mean he's all right? Crash between kilometers 30 and 40. Right. But is he still riding? Le Mans had lost very few seconds in the crash, but the questions he could only answer, was he injured? And his paranoia finally gotten the better of him. Up ahead, Eno continued to pedal away. And at the halfway point, the two were roughly even. Le Mans has asked the team car for a wrench to adjust his brakes damaged in the fall. The brakes are now locking against his front tire. If he used a wrench himself, he would breach the rules, and the team car refuses. Le Mans is asked to pull over and change bikes, but he continues to pedal. Eno is closing in on the finish line, but first takes on a final climb. Le 
Lamont finally gives in and agrees to a bike change, losing more time. Is this now the nightmare Lamont had anticipated? was in his final sprint to the finish along the very road where exactly one year ago he was in the yellow jersey and almost lost the tour in a bone-crushing collision with the pavement but today there would be no mishap for the badger and at the line he caught the rider who had started three minutes ahead of him set the day's fastest time. This tough, handsome Breton with the nerves of steel had turned in the race of his life and the ultimate challenge to the man in the yellow jersey. The world would wait for Greg LeMond. Reports of the crash were already going out. Eno had beaten his nearest competition by over two minutes. The world would wait and wonder about the fate of the American in yellow.